The Irish wheelchair rugby team would be nothing without its volunteers. They are vital in the whole cog, because without them, they can't function. So the volunteerism is absolutely king. Well, how I got involved in the Irish wheelchair rugby was a, a very close friend of mine was paralysed some years ago. And since then, we got involved in various events, I guess, building the bridges between, you know, disabled athletes, you know, and mainstream athletes. And the more we got involved in the work itself, the greater exposure that we, we saw the sport actually required to bring it to the next level. Particularly showcasing like this European event now, whereas 10 years ago, getting such a crowd in Gormans Town, getting so many young people to meet disability on a sporting level, was probably unheard of. Now these guys are the athletes, these guys are the heroes. And that's really where the whole volunteerism is all about, and certainly what we built on originally. Uh, so I started about six months after I had my accident, back in 97. Um, so I've been playing basically since then. If we didn't have people to give us a hand, if it, whether it be referees or coaches or volunteers, um, people helping us in and out of our chairs, helping keep the equipment right. Like a, the, the, it's a high attrition sport for the chairs, so there's always something to get fixed, like you know. So it means when we're finished playing the game, we can go and chill out and get something to eat or whatever, and the staff can fix the chairs. And you know, like I say, without them, we couldn't play. I was in the rehab. I was injured in 2006. I was in the rehab for seven months and had a taste of rugby there in the rehab. The lads came out to do a demo day and um, that was me hooked. And as soon as I was out and home, I was got my mom to bring me up to training sessions every Wednesday and I've been playing ever since. We train in the IWA, coming up to international competitions. And um, we train a lot more. We have a, an extra training session during the week and then any weekend sessions that we can get available for the hall. If we don't have the volunteers, we can't compete in the sport. We can't train every week. They're a necessity to the sport. We struggled for a long time with small numbers, but it's great now with the crowd training and then to, have, to be able to host a, an international event like this is super. 1997 we started it, so since then really. I know in, early on we played in our day chairs, so whether you'd call that rugby, I don't know, but um, as we went along we got the right chairs. Uh, I've been at wheelchair rugby for 15 years or more. I think back in 97 I think I started. So I'm one of the old heads at the Irish wheelchair rugby now. Compared to where we started back in the day, it was just ourselves pushing around the hall. There's, like, there's no comparison to what we, we started off with, it's brilliant. Um, I used to be a personal assistant with the Irish Wheelchair Association, so that's how I got into it. I've made a lot of friends over the years, both uh, in the Irish team and abroad, friends all over the world from 
uh, staff from other teams and players from other teams. And personally, it's great just to meet a great gang of people who are so close together. And it's not just about the rugby, it's about everything else that goes with it. So new people in the chair can learn a lot about transferring and toileting and things like that and they can support each other. Well, today is my first day kind of getting involved or helping out. So just kind of, you know, after the match, it's important to kind of get a bit of a rub down to kind of just help the muscles recover in time for the next match. Just kind of help clear out any lactic acid and kind of loosen it up a little bit. So. Yeah, you get a lot of relief, but um, it's just relaxing as well, you know. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Bishop. I'm president of the International Wheelchair Rugby Federation. And uh, it's been a true honor and pleasure to be here at the uh, European Qualifier uh, Tournament. For the last three days, I've uh, had the opportunity to uh, see the Czech Republic and uh, Italy play for the first time. And of course, watch the Irish uh, fight through the weekend. I've uh, Traveled the world and attended rugby tournaments throughout the world as well. And uh, the, 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 the volunteers that put everything together here from the uh, transportation people to the people that provided the meals to the uh, volunteers working around the gymnasium, it has been superb. And uh, the icing on the cake, as we say in the United States, has been the fan base that was here throughout the weekend. I feel is the most exciting sport on four wheels. Um, we don't always get great camp participation, but here in Ireland it was amazing. And uh, on behalf of the IWF, I want to say thank you, a sincere thank you. Fantastic job. Uh, what I get out of this is, 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 is friendship, um, I suppose, number one. Number two is, I guess, it's a journey. You know, has that journey got a final destination? I don't know. Like what we're building towards now is a launch of platformers in years to come. We can look around and have Paralympic sports in Ireland as a showcase as our mainstream sports. And our athletes will be recognised as such, you know, and being just as good as, you know, the athletes we have competing in the mainstream Olympics. And once we get to that level, then I guess we'll be certainly a long way along the road, but that's the goal.